Welcome to this walkthrough for Mission 1 of the Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. Of course, you could use this for the original Dark Forces as well. The full title of this mission is Prologue Mission 1, The Death Star Plans, Operation Skyhook Phase 2. Of course, in your mission selection menu, it simply says Secret Base. I'll be showing you how to get all of the secrets and objectives in this mission while playing on easy difficulty, simply for the sake of creating a smooth walkthrough. Harder difficulties add enemies and may remove or change items. So just bear that in mind that some items, especially rare items like a weapon supercharge or a special piece of equipment, might not actually be there if you're playing on a harder difficulty. You need to come through this room. This officer has the red key, which you will need to open a door a little bit later in the level. You can enter or exit from either side. It doesn't matter. Now, there are seven secrets in this mission, and we're about to see the first one. Unlike later games in this series, Dark Forces doesn't alert you that you've entered a secret area. It just silently increases your secrets percentage, which you can see on your mission objective screen. If you jump across here, this is the first secret, and you get a full revive from that glowy thing that I just picked up. That's the first secret of seven. You can hear some other enemies shooting at me from up on top of the base. We will deal with them later. Come back into the area where you first started. The door that's opened by the red key is right here. Up this elevator. Only one enemy in here on easy difficulty. Some items you can grab, and there's a mouse droid over here. There's an achievement for destroying a mouse droid, but you also get batteries from them when you destroy them, so they're worth destroying to pick up the batteries to power your goggles and lights and stuff. Flip this switch to access the next part of the level you need to get to. Around on the other side of this pillar is another switch, which opens a secret compartment up on the top of the pillar. To get up there, you have to go back through the red key door, back up the elevator again. And then you must run and jump across here to grab the items in there. But even if you uh, don't need the items, you want to go in there to get your second of seven secret areas. This elevator brings you up to the second floor of the facility. A few stormtroopers up here. Another mouse droid. Again, the enemies might be different if you're playing on harder difficulties. There's some shields you can pick up. You can jump across to these cliff-like areas to grab those shield pickups if you want. Those are not secret areas, surprisingly. But this next part is, to jump this gap, you have to start sprinting and then jump immediately after you start sprinting. I lost several recordings to not jumping fast enough and falling down. Simply getting to this side of the roof is the third secret area, and then if you jump across here and go into this room, this is the fourth secret area. That door won't open until you open the secret in the rocks and hit the switch. And then if you hit this switch, it lowers part of the wall and gives you access to the fifth secret area. So that was secrets three, four, and five in really quick succession. Number five is through this door here. Again, a few enemies in here. A number of things to pick up along the outside. Some batteries, there's some mouse droids, health, shields, whatever you might need. But there's another room that is even further to the interior right here. But this is important. This is the IR goggles, which allows you to see in pitch blackness, which you'll want. This room is pitch black if you don't have the goggles activated. Extra life right there. And then this is a weapon supercharge, which I grab last because it has a limited time in which it is active. And it's actually going to be a little while before I encounter any more enemies in here, so I still want to have it active when I get to where the enemies are. Go back to the starting area yet again, and then come ar go around the elevator that took you up to the roof area, and through here. This is the sixth secret area behind part of an elevator mechanism. If that elevator hasn't been used, apparently that is hidden and sealed off. Although I have not actually seen that myself. Coming through here, there's a switch that opens up a secure area where you find the Death Star plans, which is your ultimate objective for this mission. I don't remember this part from Rogue One. Apparently this is how it happened before Disney. Come around to the other side of this elevator where there's a stormtrooper suspiciously waiting and you'll find that this wall spins around and gives you access to the final secret area where there's, again, just a number of things you can pick up if you need them. 
Batteries are always helpful, but we don't use the light or the goggles much in this mission, so I'm pretty full on batteries. Open up this door to find another elevator and you are almost through the mission. Just a, a few enemies out here. And once you've dealt with them, Jan will fly in with your trusty ship. If you have mission completion set to automatic, your mission will end as soon as the ship lands here. Turn that off if you want to have the option to go back through the level to find things you've missed. Enjoy the final cutscene, I'll see you in the next one. Kyle delivers the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the Death Star is destroyed. But even as the Alliance celebrates this victory, another sinister plot is set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the Rebellion. Before you go, why not check out some of the other entertaining and enriching gaming content we have here at the Triple S League, like Maximum News, our weekly gaming news podcast hosted by Max Derrett. You'll also find comedy, reviews, and lore videos, and the description has links to our other channels, like Scenometry, where I humorously overthink TV and movies. Like